Hello, everyone, and welcome back to GTA 5. Today I'm joined by Ben. Hello. Xylus. Hello. Kirsty. Hello. Miles Z. Hey, guys. And Rivian. Hey, guys. Wow, just about got you done in time. Yeah, just in time. Oh, squeezed us in. Are you ready for Bunnyland? Bunnyland. Let's do it. I'm ready. Why is Bridie not here? Oh, the bunnies! <laughs> Look at all the Easter eggs. <laughs> Why do bunnies lay chocolate eggs? What the fuck? Who thought of that? Only chocolate bunnies lay chocolate eggs. So. Oh, oh right. You're that makes sense. Yeah, normal bunnies lay shit eggs. Yeah. <laughs> just filled with shit. Yeah, you don't want to eat those. I don't think those are eggs now, Z. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that explains a lot about my diet issues. Having a phobia of eggs is, is a thing. There is like an egg True, phobia. yeah. yeah. Some up. people really think eggs are kind of gross, which when you start thinking about they them, are. Well, that's yeah. the thing. I think I the only way I can eat eggs is to not think about what they are. <laughs> the moment I start thinking about what uh, what an egg is, it becomes a lot less appealing. Yeah, it's gross. So, to True. me, an egg is not any less gross than any <laughs> other, you know, animal products really, and I'm mostly fine eating the majority of those. So, <laughs> well, I think it's more like you know how when you bite into an apple. You don't expect it to have like a liquid, an very <laughs> sticky, weird, clear, <laughs> yeah, and, a, and, a, and, a, and an orange thing. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, Lewis. I, I don't eat raw eggs. You know, <laughs> you fool. No, but I think that's the that's more of the concern. The raw egg is is pretty weird. I mean, if you're just seeing the processed version, it, I mean, you might as well just be eating a cheese string. I mean, doesn't that, mm. it's so detached from where it came from. It doesn't matter. I, I, I think you'll agree. Most people love cheese, right? Or at least yeah. enjoy cheese. To a healthy if you really think about, oh what, yeah, I love a bit of milk mold. If you really think about what cheese is, <laughs> it becomes <laughs> gross as well. So. If you make your own cheese in the office fridge, yeah, <laughs> yeah. everyone's gonna be mad as hell. If we're, if we're fine with human milk. What's the problem with cow milk? You know, like, yeah, I'm not, they're, they're I, fine. That's not what I'm talking about, really. Yeah. I'm talking about the fact that it's fermented milk. Yeah, so it's milk. It's fine. Yeah, yeah no, no exactly. Well, I'm fine with it means it. moldy milk. That's it's moldy milk. <laughs> sure, yeah, I mean, but like... mold is good. Uh, mold <laughs> yeah, is good I mean, for is. you. And it's delicious. Just ask Nalsi. Oh, what the hell? I had an apple this morning, <laughs> and it was red inside. What? Oh. what? I bit into it, and it was like... Red. And I don't know whether that was like a specific brand or whether it was like. Are you sure it wasn't a beetroot? <laughs> it's like a Halloween prank or whether it was like. Um, yeah, you got poisoned. Pranked apples. Was it definitely yeah. an apple? <laughs> prank. It's anthrax. I thought uh, is my tooth bleeding or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But then I it was. It was a, there was a lot. It was, it was the wrong color red. Right. Um, I mean, I mean, any time you get something you didn't expect, like when you bite into something, it's always upsetting. Even if it's a yes. nice thing inside, like yeah. that surprise is like. I don't oh. know. I don't know if you've ever had it when you've went to pick up a glass and you're like, "Oh, this is a lovely sprite," oh. and you drink it and it's, and it's milk. Mm. Yeah, what? it's oh, so yeah. upsetting. I, no, I've I've never had that. I've never oh, had that. I, I, I know mean? what you mean. I have that so often. I, I have, I have for sure. When you go for something that you think it's fizzy and it's like a flat drink yeah. or something, and it's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then the, there's that split second where you're like, what have I just had? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I see. What have I put in my body? It's like reaching for the wrong can. You get the one that was flat from yesterday mm. or whatever. Mm. Oh, there, there's yeah. a lot of restaurants that like go for exactly that, right? They try to mimic food into looking like something that it's not. Mm -hmm. And that's like the entire experience, according to them. Like, oh, you, you're eating an apple, but actually you're eating chocolate. It's, it's or, made of know, cake. Whatever. Oh. Yeah. Well, everything is made of cake, right? There's this, this YouTube series or something that they make yeah, yeah. everything to is look it like cake. Of cake. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, like if, if you forego cake, but like there, there are people who like try to mask d fruits to be different fruits or whatever, right? Like. Mm. It's an apple, but no whole Weird. one. Actually, you're eating watermelon or whatever. Uh, hmm. I don't want that. I'm never going to that restaurant. It sounds upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's good. It messes. It's like it's like it messes a with your brain. Mind adventure. Yeah, yeah. It challenges you, Ben, to like actually taste things and consider. I don't think I want my brain messed with. I'm I'm quite happy eating apples that look like apples. <laughs> well, Lucy, <Lewis laughs> an apple looked like an apple when it had all that red. And that it. was red. Yeah, yeah true. Madness. You're supposed to think about your food while you're eating it, you know, and consider. Oh yeah. 
be in the moment. You know, live in the now. Appreciate wow. now. I got I sound like a cult Mind leader. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, Appreciate now. Sign up today. Donate to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How much do I have to pay for this the, uh, mindfulness? It's one thousand pound seminar. Uh, oh. And you get a free oh. red apple with your purchase. <laughs> mm. I don't pay it. That's because they've been soaked in Kool Aid. Don't eat those. Yes. yes. Oh God. Is it just me, or does like does Kool Aid get so many mentions despite most people not even drinking Kool Aid anymore? Well, it's just because of that one association, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Quite a major association. I think. I guess there is such a thing as bad publicity, really. I mean, that's not that's not what you want for your product. The only thing people know about your product. So is really insane is good marketing? <laughs> what I'm saying I mean, is, like, we're still talking about it. People still talk about Kool-Aid yeah. all the time. Yeah, you know? and I think because we were referencing the Johnstown Massacre. <laughs> Sure, referencing cults, sure, yeah, but still. I, I can also guarantee you that Kool-Aid does a lot better than we think it does, like, sales -wise. Maybe in the still. US, oh. sure, but like, oh, still, yeah. yeah. But Kool-Aid isn't a thing in the Netherlands. Like, mm. No, of course not. Well, it's very different, though. We are the same in the UK. We're very less, you know, if you ask, sort of, an American what their favorite snack is, they'll say Doritos or Cheetos. Mm -hmm. and oh, we'll yeah. say crisps, you know. We mm. won't say Walkers or... Oh, yeah. um, you know, something like that, right? Yeah, so I guess it's, it's more kind of, kind of brand loyalty. Fair. Definitely. And, and more things are just called the brand. Like, even like mm. paracetamol there is... Uh, Tylenol, yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of big brands don't want that to happen, though, at least. Yeah, because because if it happens too much... They lose the rights. Yeah. They oh, lose the rights. rights, yeah. Exactly. That's why Google never says uh, Google. Like, you, you, yeah. Google hates being referred to, to to Google something. They don't want that. Oh, right. Yeah, because then suddenly everything's a Google and they don't mean anything yeah. anymore. Exactly. exactly. I exactly. specifically remember they released, like, a press release. It's like, here's how you use the word Google to Google. You mm. only Google when you're searching with Google. If you're searching yeah. with any other search engine, you're not you're Bing. Googling. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're Googling with Bing. Well, yeah. how could that be like? I don't know. Mm, I feel like that's just paranoia from the legal yeah, team. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you don't defend your IP, you lose it, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, a big example, I think, is Band-Aid, right? Band-Aid is mm. actually a brand, mm. but it's most it's just used as the, the name for a plaster yeah. these days. Well, I America. called in a Band-Aid yeah. to do my walls. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's good. <laughs> I didn't get that. Because <laughs> it, it's a plaster, so I got a plasterer. Oh! A plasterer bandaider? <laughs> Christ, that is a fucking stretch, that no, one. No, it was good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Leave a comment. Was that was that an awful stretch? Was that a stretch? <laughs> Comments, dude. Was well, that good enough? Me and Niles, he struggled to get it after you had explained it. Really, and got it immediately. Yeah, yeah. I think it says more about you guys than yeah. it does it tells about the joke. I thought it was great. It's a good joke. <laughs> Uh, it's a very dad joke. Yeah, you well, kind of you know, yeah. That's fair. I'm allowed to make those. That's true. It's got the qualifications. Yeah. It'd be wrong if you weren't making them. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't protect it, you're gonna lose your dad ownership. Child services come to take you your way. You know, you gotta like, you gotta tick those boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. No, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of those like brand names that are now become just names. Yeah, like Tannoy. Oh, I think yeah. Hoover is like the biggest one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Hoover's, Hoover's the biggest is one. Huge. Clean, Kleenex and Q-tip, and uh, yeah, I guess there's a couple more that come, doesn't come to mind. What was the other one? There's more chat brand verifications, I'm pretty sure. Like Bi Biro's one. Biro is a Oh, Biro, is that a brand? It's a big one. I'm pretty yeah. sure, Velcro's yeah. a brand Oh, as well. Velcro, oh, yeah. Oh, shit, Indeed. yeah. What the fuck is the real name for Velcro, then? Is it just like Adhesive fabric? strips or something, you know? Like? <laughs> grabby, grabby fabric. Yeah. It's just grip. Isn't it just grip something? No, I googled it. It's grabby fabric, yeah. <laughs> grabby fabric. <laughs> grabby fabric. <laughs> grabby fabric. <laughs> Other grabby fabrics are available. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having a terrible time on this map, by the way. Oh, but the bunnies. Yeah, what what, what place are you in? Fifth. Not that mm. bad, then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage to get... I thought I was getting lapped, but no, it was just Niles. I, 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 I didn't want to say anything, but I almost lapped Niles. <laughs> wow. You just crushed the wall rise, did you? <laughs> I did, yeah. I spent about 10 minutes on the loop at the beginning. I was, I was, ri I was riding just behind Nalzi for like the last 30 seconds of my, of my oh, race. Man. He crossed the finish and then I crossed it immediately after. I focus on the content. 
I focus on the, uh, the conversation, not the yeah, yeah, racing. Yeah. You know. it came like fourth in content, so it evens out. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I, I think I, I, I think I came third at least in content. <laughs> Why you didn't even give him the top half? Why you the bottom no, half? No, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. <laughs> I didn't get the uh, band-aid joke, so that dropped me like, quite a lot of that's points. That's true, that's true. It is yeah. true. It's called Hook and Loop. Ah, <laughs> Hook and Loop. Wow. Thank God we got to the bottom of that. N- name a more yeah. iconic duo than Hook and Loop. I like Grabby Fabric better. <laughs> yeah, same, for sure. You could identify non-Velcro brands. Oh. Uh, yeah, so don't say Velcro, say Hook and Loop. You're not <laughs> even allowed... The, the lawyers of the Velcro on their official website say... When you use Velcro, you diminish the importance of our brand. Mm. <laughs> oh and no, the importance oh, of no. their brand. I weep for the Velcro Corporation. <laughs> they say that as if anyone cares. Yeah. Guys, I think I think we're gonna get a cease and desist on this video. <laughs> <laughs> Big Velcro, I, don't want you talking about this. I would love to I wanna do a survey, right? If I just said hook and loop, everyone in the comments. Tell us if you would guess that that meant Velcro or if you would have had no fucking idea what we were I talking about. I think you were talking mm. about like crochet or something. I, I would think, think crochet, crochet actually, yeah. I, I think this is actually bollocks. And the reason why is because I think they legally have to say don't say it in order to protect it. Exactly. But actually, they want to do it in the most viral way. So they mm. want to have a really crap name <laughs> like that people will talk about on popular GTA yeah. 5 <laughs> video <laughs> content. Yeah. Going out to tens of people. I know I'm pushing know? the boat out by saying popular, but <laughs> all this free marketing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we should like, we should drop in hashtag ad for Velcro here, by the way. <laughs> oh, cool. Sponsored by... Sponsored thank you for... Velcro. Yeah, our favourite hook and, and band aid from manufacturer. <laughs> our favourite hook and loop. Yeah. <laughs> now, did anyone pick the armored Karuma? Uh, what? That was an option? Oh, I didn't realize that was in. No, I did not. I picked the default because I'm playing the I'm, game. Yeah. I'm in a mini that's got a spoiler. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I didn't pick it. I, I took too long to pick. So I was I Googling. Oh, sorry. I was looking up on the internet. <laughs> you, you were binging. <laughs> you were binging, yeah. <laughs> No, Lewis was definitely not using Google. It was probably like Lycos or something. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Yahoo. Thursday. Say ya. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna regret that. No, Lewis is a professional <laughs> academic. He only uses Nexus Lexus. Nexus. Oh. Nexus yeah. What other what other ones did you use? No, they. I, I definitely Jeeves. use Lycos. Law. Ash Jeeves. I think that's yeah. definitely still going. I think going. Jeeves died. Oh. Is oh no. Yeah, he's not. He's not around anymore. Jeeves is dead. Jeeves is dead. He was quite old, though, to start he was. with. To be honest, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I imagine him dying. Do you remember you remember Yoda in Star Wars where Luke asks him so many questions, he just dies of, so yeah. they don't have to keep answering yeah. them? Yeah. That was Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was Jeeves. Jeeves just like, oh, my God. <laughs> the only way I'm getting out of this, I'm just done. I reckon some people's search history would make him lose his mind. Do you know oh, what I mean? God. Like, all the misspellings. Yeah. And it's like, did you mean this? And they were like, no. <laughs> I meant the wrong spelling. He would just be like, oh my god. Honestly, one of the things I'm still fucking guilty of, yeah. even this day and age, mm. is going to Google and just literally typing out a question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got better at understanding that, though. That's what Jeeves was for. Jeeves was a bit too big for his boots. He claimed he could understand your questions, but... Yeah. No, or, no he could say, <laughs> the cool, just, He was just a search engine. The, the cool thing about Lycos was when you search for the dog went and fetched the results because you'd say Aww. fetch and the dog Aww. would go and get you the results and bring them back to you. Oh, I forgot boy. about Lycos. Yeah, <laughs> Lycos dogs. That's nice. Yeah, I, was a, I was an Alta Vista guy. That was what I did. So I thought it was funny. You're when, an um, Alta guy? <laughs> Alta Vista. <laughs> oh, sorry, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right, 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 right. I want to make it very clear what they said. Yeah. <laughs> Alta Vista, baby. Um, oh they had a joke in... in in Parks and Rec that they all use Alta Vista to Google in that city for some reason. Oh, yeah. Made, made me feel at home. Like, I could move there, and, you know. 2001. Yeah. It's like a backwater where they are out of date. <laughs> yeah. <all> search <laughs> yeah. I think one of the craziest things over the years. I remember going Here to... Here we go. This is going to be fucking crazy. I cannot wait to hear this. <laughs> I cannot wait, yeah. <laughs> I remember going to high school, right? And yeah. um, in my, my first year, I took... Like, there was this mandatory IT class that we had to take. And... Um, for that, you also had to purchase this new crazy invention called a memory stick. What? Oh. Yeah, yeah, what do you mean yeah, like yeah. a USB? You a mean like USB a USB memory stick. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. um, 
Is um, dongle proprietary? God, who knows? <laughs> I think dongle is generic. I think we're allowed okay. to say dongle, yeah. Oh, I remember it being an advert. Hmm. Um, but, like, so we had to buy this new, uh, this, this thing, this, this memory stick for, uh, don't say dongle. Memory stick. It was a fucking Kingston. Uh, like, oh. Kingston as well for my yeah. IT class. Um, but I remember we all had to buy one. They mm -hmm. were, I think, 35 euros or whatever at Whoa, the time. Oh, you got ripped off. For 64 <laughs> megabytes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. And if you just look at those things now, I think it's you like can get... like one PowerPoint. I yeah. think you can get like 250 <laughs> yeah. gigs for like a tenner or whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's changed a lot. It's changed a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm such an old man that I used to have to take a floppy disk into school. Yeah, I used to have floppy oh. disks. Yeah. Oh, wow. I used to play games on floppy disks. Yeah, so did and I. And I remember in my like, um, in our like textiles class, we would like, they got us to sew a floppy disk like pouch. Oh like, my god! <laughs> but the amount Cute. of times that fucking thing corrupted and I'd lose all my homework. Oh, no. It was so unreliable. A floppy disk pouch! Where, where is that supposed to sew onto your, onto your uniform? Like as a little pocket. It was like a little... No, it was like, like a, a little, little bag, wallet. Basically. Like a little bag to put your floppy disk in. Oh my god, keep it safe. Keep it secret. <laughs> they had little cases anyway, didn't they? Little jewel cases. I had I a whole you know, thing like you could like unfold and open up, so, like yes, and then flip through the like forty <laughs> floppy yes. cases. In your briefcase. Like, yeah. like, like, a, like no, no, like like a Rolodex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember those things. Man, yeah, they were great. Because yeah, each one can can't even hold one MP3 on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but on the other hand, one disc could usually have like four games on it because games are so small back in the day. You know, like yeah. I remember having a bunch. So, like I remember yeah. they set classic picture of um, Eight Bit Mario, and underneath mm. it says Super Mario Original, like NES version, twelve kilobytes. Yeah. This image is like sixty four kilobytes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, they they had to back in the day. You know, they did they did tricks like. Oh god, you had to cut all the corners. We're gonna make sure that, like, to save space, mm. we're going to have the, sp the cloud and the grass bush be the same sprite with a slight different in the lighting change. change. <laughs> so that to <laughs> yeah. save space, you know? It's like, oh, okay, damn. Smart. So many tricks. Yeah. It's like playing Minecraft and building your um, your table out of wooden slabs. <laughs> yeah, because they take slightly less wood. <laughs> oh, see, what the fuck is the Fuck problem? off, Silas. Fuck mm. off. What the fuck is your problem, dude? <laughs> I don't want to be last. <laughs> okay, you're going to be, though. Shut up. No, not if you keep crab bucketing. That's a guaranteed way to climb to the top. I picked an absolutely horrible car for the off-road part. Yeah, I know. We just left it on the default on this crappy little mini, and apparently it's pretty good. It's great, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's I awesome. just, like, the, the slightest turn on these dirt paths, and I completely spit out. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm going to need a review, by the way. How crazy was Xylus' hmm. crazy fact? Oh, okay. it was so crazy. Mm, yeah. Not that crazy. Yeah, memory used to be smaller and more expensive. That's, that's the thing. Memory used to be better, you know. <laughs> Back in my day. Well, the memory, the numbers were smaller, but what we put on it was better. I remember <laughs> that memory was <laughs> way, my memory was better, for sure. We yeah. didn't have the space to save dank memes back in the day. True, that, you can save that. We had to remember our memes and describe them. You had to print them, print them out and carry them around as a piece of paper. That's True. how memes were back in the day. What was your first meme? Oh, oh God. Good question. I think all all your base was probably mine. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. All your base are belong to us. Yeah. All your base. Kind of is saying. a meme. Yeah. But if we're talking about your stereotypical picture meme, it was probably "Hello, this is dog." Oh, I love oh, "Hello, this yeah. is dog." Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Right, "Hello, this is dog" was a later one for me though. I, I mm. think. Do you remember the dancing baby gif? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that was Ali McBeal. Like, that was literally in mm. Ali McBeal, wasn't it? Like yeah. I was in a TV show, so yeah. That's considered like one of the earliest memes, I think, yeah. like on the internet anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there was also a dancing Spider-Man one, and oh, I think that was, was oh, yeah. that was my one. Yeah. I had that, and I saved it, and dancing I put it everywhere. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there were probably memes I saw before the Hello, This Is Dog, but that's the first one that comes to mind. Where yeah. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. probably one of the Stuck oldest ones you. I know. Does Rick Rowling count as a meme? Yes, I would say it's like, of, the, yeah. like the king of memes. I'd say it's like it's overdone, but it's yeah. That, that's a real early one. That's one of my first. Well, it did. Well, hold on a minute. You don't get the release of 
of that song as a meme. It's rickrolling. It's the act of sending it to someone. Rick, rick rolling, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. so not the release of the song by Rick Astley. No. No. Okay, no, no. Right. It's just the idea of like giving people a link, and it's like, oh, yeah. it's yeah, yeah, rickroll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember the the maze game? Uh, and you get oh, to the end of yeah. it, and it would get really narrow, and it would show the girl from the ring. Yes, I do. Oh, no, not, was she from the ring? Maybe. However, well, some sort of scary girl, yeah. No, it wasn't. It was, no, it was The Exorcist, I think. Uh, yeah. Yes, it was like a jump scare. Yeah. yeah. On a, on that a, was a really You have to lean one. really close into your computer to yeah. play the stupid maze game. Yes. <laughs> Kirsty, congrats. I your... won. That's my first well, win in a GTA so race. Congratulations. <laughs> That's a meme. Thank you, Silas. Speaking good, of memes. Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations. Did I just overtake Nazi? No, you overtook me. Oh, I'm, okay. Okay, well, not fucking from now. I mean, Omega lol. Oh, my fucking God. This fucking car on dirt. Yeah, it's not <laughs> great. <laughs> Why, beep you on? <laughs> Just hung back to troll whoever came after me. I just have no. zero control. Yeah, I just I'm just flopping over and <laughs> over the place. I'm watching these two comical gents in their fast cars. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> at least fast. we won't DNF. At least we won't DNF. Yeah, That's thank God. Something. No DNF. <laughs> oh at least. my God. Imagine DNFing. Well, oh, wow. <laughs> I would do that. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Nazi should be like forced into his bongo every every map. Do you know what I mean? He yeah, just have I'd love role that. Role players himself in his weird. I band. just I just finished a trip down to Bristol in the bongo. Yeah, how was your first drive? It was one of the most nightmarishly terrifying things I've ever done. Oh, because it was all falling apart and rattling and exploding. The bongo was great actually, but I drove during like hurricane storm bibat, <laughs> and um, <laughs> let me tell you, when there's a warning for weather. Listen yeah. to it. Listen to that warning. <laughs> they do that for a reason. It was like a red warning. It yeah. was a red wow. warning. Uh, people were told not to go out. Especially in Scotland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. And you were just like, that's the time to drive my high-backed vehicle. Yeah, high-sided vehicle, <laughs> 70 miles an hour on the motorway. Uh, the rain was wow. so bad, the window wipers were on full. I could still not see. It was kind of like driving through a car wash. Um, every, <laughs> oh, every, every truck was like dropping an entire gallon of water on the car. And Jeez. yeah, it was horrible. I was white knuckle driving for about four hours because it was just <laughs> so windy. It was pushing me around. It's crazy. Bongo made it though, but terrifying. Drive back, lovely. Good old Bongo.